The Tigers and Panthers clawed out for a top spot in the SWAC. Who proved to be the big cat in the conference? Stay tuned, GFN starts now. What's up, Graham fam? I'm Damian Runnels, and welcome to GFN. Monday Night Football. Whether their team is playing or not, millions of football fans still tune in each week, and have done so for decades. But long before that, there was another Monday Night Football, the State Fair Classic. The first game was played on October 19, 1925, the designated Monday that black people were allowed to attend the Texas State Fair. Langston and Wiley faced off resulting in a 0-0 tie. But after that game, the stage was set, and for the following 40 plus years, that Monday night in late October would become a much anticipated and celebrated event. Prairie View replaced Langston in 1929, and Grambling joined the Classic in 1985. 2015 marks the 90th year of the State Fair Classic and the 30th year of Grambling and Prairie View in that Classic. At the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, the Tigers defeat the Panthers in another barn burner, 70-54. And this game was a wild one. The Tigers came up short in almost every statistical category except for the one that counted the most. Points scored. They simply went out and got the W. Jonathan Williams showed up big. Six touchdowns through the air and one on the ground from 11 yards out kept the Panthers playing catch up all night. Another big contributor, you've heard that name, Martez Carter. He returned two kickoffs for touchdowns and added another TD from 10 yards out. On defense, the Tigers had their hands full, especially through the air. They gave up some big plays that kept allowing the Panthers to get back into the game. Prairie View's quarterback, Trey Green, was able to get 414 passing yards on the Tigers, most of which came off of big plays, like his 52-yard touchdown heave with 44 seconds left in the first half. That cut Grambling's lead down to six and had the Tigers fans a little worried before halftime. The 2015 State Fair Classic was a fan's dream and a defensive coordinator's nightmare. Once again, the Tigers gave up a lot of yards on defense, something that they will have to correct as they get deeper into the season. Next up, Grambling has the Jackson, Mississippi to take on the Tigers of Jackson State. They're trying to improve on a slow start. Last year, Grambling started their seven game winning streak against the Tigers, and they have a generous defense who's given up over 1,700 yards in their first three games. That's it for us. Remember to tell a friend about GFN. I'm Damian Ronalds. Thanks for watching.